Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So have you ever seen one of these before? Now, this is rough, it's spiky, it looks like a hedgehog. What could it be? Follow me, keep watching, and I'll show you what this is. So this is what's called the jackfruit, yeah? This is the Bangladeshi national fruit. It's the largest fruit in the world. This is the official largest fruit in the world. Not this particular one here, but jackfruit is the largest fruit in the world. Okay, now I'll show you how you prepare it. So I'm gonna take my knife. So if I take, make a small cut like that, and then what I'm gonna do is, this, is a, this fruit is too big to eat in one sitting. So what I'm doing is all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a small slice, and then I'm gonna take the skin, and I'm literally just gonna peel it back. It takes a bit of force, but that's it, that's fine. So, We'll, this is scrap, this is no good, that's no good, there's nothing in there to eat, which is a bit of a pity, considering how expensive this is in this country. I mean, in this country, this this fruit alone costs £20, um, so it's quite expensive for the, for the kind of fruit it is. So there's one piece, that's one piece. And inside there, there's another seed. And you can roast that seed and eat it like a nut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going around like this in sections. Stop. And again, I'll just give it, pull it back. There we go. See, inside all of these, these fruits can get up to, um, I mean, this one weighed about three kilos. They can get up to 15, 20, some of them can get up to about 15 kilos. They can get absolutely huge. They can get at the size of a small person. These are massive. These can be massive. Now, these, these little bits aren't edible. Um, I mean, you can eat them, but then they're, they're not easily digestible. So um, best to avoid those. If on a larger fruit, if this had if this had been left growing for a few few more months, or on a larger fruit, these would have turned into more pieces like this. And this is the fruit that you're actually looking for, and this is what you're wanting to eat. So I'll just keep taking them out. There we go. Look how nice these are. There are some of these that are a little bit fatter. So let me show you the difference between the, these ones and these ones here. See, that one, which is quite thin and is just there for padding. I mean, there's two, there's two there, which is why it looked a bit fatter. So these are not edible, but these are ones that are slightly bigger. These are the ones that would have grown up into a new fruit, and these are the ones that you can actually eat. So here goes, bismillah. Quite tasty this one. That's all right. That. Now, what kind of gardener would I be if I didn't tell you about the gardening benefits of this? Now, if you you've all heard of banana peel fertilizer. Now, if you take this and you make banana the same way you'd ferment banana, um, you know, you'd leave banana peels in a bucket of water and rot it down to use as fertilizer. Now, if you use this, it's even more potent than the banana fertilizer. It's full of potassium. It's, full, it's going to be full of all your trace elements. It's, it's absolutely ram-packed with vitamins in here as well. Um, full of all your micronutrients. Fantastic. It's like rocket fuel. 
So you use this for your fertilizer. Put this in a bucket of water and um, just leave it for a few weeks. Drain off that juice and use that everywhere. They'll love it. The garden will love it. So in Bangladesh, what they would have done with this uh, peel is they would have fed it to the cows. And the cows absolutely love eating jackfruit. Once, once they've finished, um, for the size of the uh, hato, the size of the jackfruit, the, the pieces are really good. And they're, and they're nice and crispy as well. They're not the ones that are really soggy, so they're nice and crispy. Mm, very good. See now the problem with the problem with um, cutting or preparing jackfruit is this white sticky glue. Now this sap that's coming out. Now that sap is really strong. Um, it's really sticky, and that will stick onto your hands. Um, and in Bangladesh, they actually use that to for trapping purposes, so they can trap um, you know birds with it they'll, they'll leave it on um, they'll leave it somewhere when the bird will come and settle that that's it it'll be stuck so they can actually use it for trapping that's how strong it is so now that it's all over my hands how am i going to get it off now the easiest way to get it off is some mustard oil i'll show you you can try fairy you can try washing up liquids and you can try all your detergent this stuff isn't coming off your hands the stuff that's going to get it off is a bit of oil so all i do is i take a bit of oil and I just massage it into my hands and all that white stuff is just going to come straight off. That's it, done. And you're moisturising your hands while you're at it. So, awesome job. Now just rinse that mustard oil off. It's gone. Hands might be a bit oily, but that's fine. Good for your hands, good for your skin. Yeah. That mustard oil on the skin, good for your skin, good to, good way of moisturising your hands, especially when we're doing all that rough digging and stuff in the garden. Now here is a lovely plate of khato, and this, wow how lucky am I, this looks like a seed that's actually sprouted. So this is what the seed looks like, and this is a seed that's actually sprouted, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take this seed and I'm going to plant this seed and see if I can grow jackfruit in the, in Britain. It's, how wicked would that be? If I could grow jackfruit in Britain. That would be fantastic. So I'll leave it there for this one. Hang on, let me tell you what this tastes like actually before I put it away. Bismillah. Delicious. I love it. Now it tastes kind of like a banana with a pineapple with an with um I can't describe the taste it's delicious it's all I can say it's absolutely delicious you've got to try it um this is the national fruit of Bangladesh and that this is why it's delicious I'll leave it there assalamu alaikum warahmatullah come on everyone. Uh, 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 uh.